Hi there guys, I'm Stuart from Marshall Music and today on Stu Speaks With we have Mr. JD Dolmeda aka Joachim aka J Dizzle aka Dizzle in the Schnizzle <laughs> aka Dizzle in the Schnizzle in the Nizzle is that kind of right? Stuart Goodwin, you can use any one of them <laughs> Welcome yeah, thank you, man. What so, an honor to be here. Yeah, too. It's, I would have invited you earlier. It's been a bit crazy. But yeah, but that's thank good. you. Thank you for chatting to us. JD is a longtime friend of mine. I've known you, what, 10, more than 10 12. years? 12. 12 years, 12 years yeah. yeah. Yeah, 12 years. Um, and obviously, JD is the managing director, owner, proprietor, head honcho at JD Custom, um, which is South Africa's premier guitar workshop, custom workshop, electronics, repairs, workshop, you name it. Um, anything musical equipment related. Um, you kind of fixing and hot rodding and repairing and setting up. That's correct, yeah. That's so correct. so when, did it, when did JD Custom start? When did, when did um, you move in here at Marshall? It Wood was Mead? end of 2009, so December 2009. Okay, so, so almost 10 years almost ago. 10 years, yeah. Yeah. This is now the ninth year with, with you guys at Marshall. Okay. And what a journey, hey? What a journey it has been. It, it all started, I mean, with, with uh, Andy McGibbon in 2007. Yeah, you were working there? Yes. Right, yes. okay. That's it. So, sure. Long story short, it, it all happened when I decided to change careers um, and to get into the guitar business. It's, it's uh, w when my late father um, passed away, I was left with one of his instruments. Okay. And it was like this old beaten up classical guitar. So, you know, I did my own setup on it. But <laughs> 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 and, uh, and then, yeah, that's, that's where I realized, you know, this line of work is, is, is nice because it's technical, it's also a bit arty. Yeah. And um, I decided to... to sit under Andy McGibbon's wing for a while mm. and that's where I learned the core of of uh, what it's about you know okay. so, so yeah cool cool and I, I mean you've always been, um, so, so yes you learned a lot about the guitar thing but you've always been very handy with your hands you can kind of build anything can't you yeah well I did work um, in an engineering firm as oh, well okay. so I learned how to okay. use like heavy machinery and things like that it was a, a, a brick uh, plant manufacturer so they used to make brick machines, egg okay. layers, things like that. So on that side, I learned about heavy industrial things. A uh, completely different ball game to the finickiness and, and the, the fragility of, of a beautiful guitar. You know? uh, okay. And That's you've always it. played guitar? I was so a drummer. So, yeah, yeah, but we won't talk about that. Eh? Uh, nah. Well, you know, <laughs> it, I, I, I couldn't buy a pizza being a drummer. So... <laughs> <laughs> so but um, guitar is something that I did much later in life. You know, I even started fixing guitars uh, before playing them uh, yeah. more seriously. So I noodled. Uh, I enjoyed, you know, strumming and, and, and you know, the fact that it's um, a lot richer, a guitar, compared to just rhythm. And, um, yeah, only in my later, you know, years, even, like I would say, the last five years, I've been a guitarist that plays guitar on a more serious basis. I've even heard that you've played a couple of gigs. Yes, in, in the past. I was yes. there. Ah, yes. <laughs> and I was actually <laughs> at, quite at, impressed. At I was actually quite impressed. Thank you, thank you. Well, you know, I try not to you play a guitar in front of, you know, guys <laughs> like Salilo and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I so. was actually very impressed. Thank you. Was that your one and only? No, I've played a few. you played a yeah, few. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But that was, uh, I would say, like the, the most formal one. You know? Okay. Yeah. So, JD... Gigging musician as well as a master luthier. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should get back into it, but uh, I, I try to focus on the technicalities of, of the guitar itself. Okay. You know? That's it. So, so now before we talk about the, the current, well, well your, your, the, the, the new workshop at, um, at Woodmead, yes. tell us about the, the great workshop at the uh, Marshall Music Westrand store at Allen's Neck. Yes. Well, when did yes. that come um, about? This is now two years old, so, okay. so the, the West Rand workshop is now two years old. Okay, already. And wow. uh, yeah, time flies, hey? Time flies. Yeah. And uh, it's also been an amazing journey, you know, to have uh, another place to operate from and to 
have these new ideas come up, um, a new team to to kind of you know brush up on certain skills. Um, so the West Strand has been fun as well, you know, and uh, building it up was was a, was a good experience for our whole team mm. to kind of prepare us for this step that we've just done now. So the West Strand, yeah, like uh, I've got okay. Nolan there. He's he's in charge of, yeah, of the operation he's on really, that side. He's really good. He's amazing. He's also my marketing um, administrator. Yeah, he he handles everything that has to do with marketing, and uh, from there. It's, it's grown to become a lot busier than when we first started. So it was a nice transition for me to spend time there and to think and to decide what tools to upgrade and what yeah. procedures to yeah. simplify. So in the West Strand, I was able to think because Woodmead becomes so busy that you walk in and there's no time yeah, yeah. To, to, to faff around, you know. Yeah. That's, that's, that's it. And uh, t- sorry, speaking about Nolan and the social media aspect and marketing, yes. tell us about your Let's Talk um, evenings as well. Cool. So Let's Talk You've is... You've done a couple of them, eh? Yes, we have. Yeah. Yeah, we've done two major ones. Yeah. So, so Let's And talk, when is the next one? Uh, we still need to clarify on a date. Okay. Then. So we, we'd like to say maybe every three to four months we have a Let's Talk event. Okay. So, so, so you will announce that soon? I will announce it, okay, yes, cool, definitely. Cool. So Let's Talk was uh, an idea that uh, you know, we, we wanted to put together. And uh, it was something I thought about with, with you and with Taylor Marshall. Yeah. And uh, the idea that you've got the most amazing stock in your shop. And we've got the technical uh, backing and the explanations towards all those things. And um, to put together an event where we can rave about the brands that make these instruments. So the first one was Taylor Guitars. Mm. And it was such an awesome evening. Such a, uh, you know, a nice thing to share, you know, our passions towards beautiful guitars like Taylor's and what goes behind them. What is the, the, the drive behind such a great company? What are the long-term approaches that they have in terms of durability and uh, why we love them, why they play so well? Yeah. So, so, yeah. so, yeah, the, the point of these events is to us sh- share the technical knowledge, martial music to show off these, these beautiful guitars, you know? Okay, cool. Yeah. I look forward to the next one. And that's it. We yeah. need to start planning it. So it's part of all the little things that we do in the marketing side, you know? Okay. Um, okay. I'm sure you've seen we've got the, the Mind Blown Mondays as well, which okay. is like those one-minute one clips of a whole procedure. Oh, yes. Um, Sorry. Yes, I have that's seen it. That's yeah. it, so, okay. so we, we try, you know, to get the camera out when we can and, and do a A to Z procedure. I think it's a great idea and need more of that. Yeah, yeah. definitely. So th- we're going to be focusing more on that as well, you know. Okay, cool. And, and you've also seen the jam jar that, that we the jam jar, yes, with all well. the artists yes. doing a little... Showing them off basically in your workshop, which is cool. Yeah, yeah. More of that. Yeah. Well, the point, Stuart, of the jam jar is to show our involvement in the music industry, to show that we are behind all these great artists that that, that are that are sharing their talent in South Africa and the world. And um, you know, it's such an honor to have guys come in, play a song, have an interview with them. What yeah. I've loved about the jam jar personally is that, and I'm sure you feel the same way. Mm is you get to know all these artists that you usually see in the shop. You get to know them a lot better and, and to see what they're up to. And I think just... And actually see them perform. Because sometimes busy people like you don't get course, to go to their to, gigs all to the time. Their gigs, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But for personal, um, I would say, uh, richness of, of knowledge of what's out there, I, I find that that's really helped me to get familiar okay. with who, who is out there playing the guitar. You know? Okay. That's it. Tell me a little bit about your, your the, the, the philosophy at JD Custom. What, um, what, what, is, what is it that you are striving to do with the company and what, and what, what is, you know, your, your, your logo is passion done professionally. Yes. Just to elaborate on that a little bit for us. Yes, so that, that's it. It's passion done professionally. And, uh, you, you know, when you walk into the workshop, whoever you speak to in the team you will, you will see is, is a passionate, driven person. So that's where I think we're very lucky at JD Custom. We are all this bonded unit, you know, like we all built the workshops together. We all have put Literally. towards... Yeah. That's it. Yeah, we've all put towards the development of, of, of this, this amazing project, you know? And 
what, what it's about is it's about the love for what we do and it's about the love for what we play with every day, what, mm-hmm. whatever we see every day. There's this, this, this passion that drives it for, for and foremost, you know. Okay. So, so with that comes a lot of, you know, time that we spend towards it and a lot of research that, that we've put towards it. And I think... Well, uh, speaking of time, I mean, the, it's uh, pretty late in the evening now and yeah. you, you're still at... I had to pull you away from your bench. Yes, now, and yes, it's almost yes. eight o'clock in the evening. That's it. Yes, but <laughs> but you see, Stuart, what a pleasure. So, so 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 for me, I always have this philosophy that if you love what you do, you'll always walk the extra mile. That cool. no one else will walk because you know someone that is passionate about playing guitar will play the guitar more than someone that is more towards you know playing golf, for example. You're not going to spend that time towards golf, and 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 I think that's that's the fundamental of of building a career or a hobby or anything that's that you, that you want to take far so so the philosophy yeah, cool. number one at jd custom is that whatever we work on is treated in the same respect whether it's a, a cheap a instrument, thousand rang guitar or a hundred and thirty thousand rang guitar. yes and and like so, so goes so goes that philosophy towards our customers because you you might you whether might, he's a nobody or whether he's famous of same, course, he gets of treated course. the same yeah. or you, you you might be starting out and and you will not understand the fundamentals of why the guitar plays well and what it needs to play well and why should it get set up and that's what we are here for we're not here to 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 show you that we know everything we have to tell you that if you do these certain things your journey as a guitarist will, will be vastly improved, you know? Yeah, 100%. So, okay. so yeah, that's a brush up on, on, on a little <laughs> bit of our philosophy. <laughs> um, are there any, um, um, I remember you were telling me about this, uh, a new package that you're offering um, a year. Um, just explain that, yes, that package yes. that you're offering to, to people. So, so we have the JD Custom Maintenance Plan. Yeah. And basically what the maintenance plan is, is for the serious musician that is playing his instruments, you know, during the whole week, uh, yeah. playing like uh, gigs all, all week, all weekend. And what we've broken it down into is the four seasons of the year. So during the four seasons, the instrument is going to change. The humidity and temperature is going to, you know, make your instrument shift in a certain way. So, so four times during the year, you can bring in your guitar for major procedures, mm. and then anything in between is also part of it. So at JD Custom, a pro setup will set you back about 750 Rand. Mm. It will include a fret alignment mm. and a profiling of your frets. That is the most important part of your setup. All the rest, like intonation, height of action, curvature of neck, recutting of nut slots, lubrication of movable components, mm. electronics, all that is what then comes after the fret alignment to tweak the guitar to its best playability. Mm. But that fret alignment is the most important. So now we have managed to, to, to you know, become so good at it that the bare minimum is, is what we take off the frets. And if it's not needed, a good technician knows where to do something and where not to, mm-hmm. you see. 100%. So in between uh, these four setups, your tweakings, your restrings, your, your, your uh, curvature settings, anything that is needed, you can bring back any other time. Okay. And that you won't get charged for. So four setups should cost you three grand. The maintenance plan is 1595 with three restrings, 15% on strings from Marshall Music, yep. and, cool. and a, a logging system that enables you to bring it in by appointment. So if you don't come in after, the, after three months, which is every, every, every time every you should seat, bring yeah. it in, um, then what, what we do is we phone you and then we log it in for you. So yeah. That's brilliant. Yeah, it's something we believe in. It's something we'd like to market. Well, and and that's, the, the, that's the kind of um, service and philosophy that you get on kind of high-end cars, you know, with yes. Merck or BMW or whatever, will f- you know. That's, they, they, that's they phone you and tell you when it's due for services and, and, and they book it in. And exactly. Yeah, that's cool. Well, that's, that's where cool. we, we got inspired by that. You know? yeah. And Stuart, you coming to the workshop a lot, you, can, you know this. Uh, any instrument that gets booked in will have a history record and uh, it will get punched in with its serial number. And every time you come in, we know, you know what exactly has been done. What's been and, yeah. So that's any guitar, you know. And so it's, it's good to see, like, 
when you've come in, how, ma how many guitars have you brought to us? You know, we know exactly what you like as well. Cool. Okay, so that's the, it's called the maintenance program. The maintenance plan. 1595 per year. Yes. For, for, for serious, well, for yeah. anyone, but, but, but for mostly guys who are using the instruments a lot. Yeah, that's, yeah cool. Yeah, or for, okay. for the, 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 the instrument that you have the most pride for as well. You know, you might yeah. have the, yeah. one, the one that sits on your wall that you yeah. always want to play, that's always going to be playing at the best of its yeah. ability, you know? So let's talk about the 16th of February, which is this coming Saturday. Tell us, tell us what's happening on that. Yeah. Wonderful day. So, Stuart, as you know, on the 16th of Feb, we are launching the new JD Custom Workshop. So what we've done now is we've revamped Woodmead completely. And uh, we've, thanks to Marshall, managed to now take up the whole floor upstairs. And uh, we've turned this into a take over the entire the store art. soon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's enough guitars <laughs> to set up there. <laughs> We're going to have um, four main artists that are going to play. Uh, we're going to have Salalo Salota, Michael Plaxton Harrison, the Black Cat Bones, and Dean Portrita. Cool. So while they're playing downstairs and there's a vibe in the shop, we're going to offer champagne as well. So there'll be two uh, very pretty ladies giving champagne out. Nice. Uh, so that's going to be cool, you know. And um, we'll also have a power hour. So what, what will happen is from a time, uh, from 3 o'clock to about 4 o'clock, the workshop will be operating at full steam. And uh, you can come in and take a look. You'll get a guided tour of the workshop. Once that's done, we'll all suit up uh, and deliver a speech with Mr. Dane Marshall. And that's basically what's going to happen on the 16th. Yeah. Right. So I think it's going to be super fun. There's going to be all our best uh, customers, um, you know, famous uh, guitar players are also going to be there and uh, yeah, cool. I'm, I'm, I'm super to. excited about it. Yeah. So what, what, what it marks is it marks the 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 beginning stage of you know JD Customs new approach and how we've evolved cool. basically well, I've seen I've seen the workshop obviously and it is world class it is without doubt I, I mean I've never seen anything like that in the whole world thank you Stuart thanks, I mean, thanks for the compliment yeah I mean I've been to Taylor Guitars as have you yes, we, we've, yes. Been, we've been to Taylor Guitars workshop in San Diego this one's better it's it's different. <laughs> it's it's different. Like uh, my my respect for Taylor guitars is so high, and uh, well, you've modelled yourself on them. On that, yes, absolutely. Yeah. And I mean, uh, you know, we are gold accredited. Um, yes, of course. With, yeah, with yeah, yeah. Taylor guitars, which yeah. is a great honour for us. Yeah. And um, you know what I love about Taylor guitars is you can eat off the floor in that in that factory. And yeah. th the difference is Taylor guitars is a factory. You see, so we a repair center. So Taylor Guitars also have a repair center in Amsterdam, which is top notch, and that's mm -hmm. what we're striving for. We're striving for that international class of of uh, you know each each technician has his workbench, each technician has his own tools. Yeah. Um, everything is meticulous. There's no tools on your bench unless it's part of the job that you're working on. Yeah. And so if you, if you come see it, you'll really no, it see is, that it's, it's the workshop has become such a modern... <coughs> it's world class. I've, I've been to workshops. Yeah. I've worked in work, workshops in Europe and, and yours is world class. Absolutely. Thank you, Stuart. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, cool. when you work in that environment, it just makes it so much more enjoyable. You know, you know exactly where things are, why, they, why, you know, where, why you're supposed to use them for certain things and that yeah. really makes all the difference to your quality of work. In yeah. general, awesome, yeah. awesome. That's it. So, um, it, it links to your um, your pages on social media. Have you got, you've got an Instagram page. What, yes. what what's, do you yes. have the name of it? So we've got. The, if uh, you don't remember it, it's JD Custom Workshop. That's our okay. Instagram name. Cool. And uh, you can also call it JD Custom Workshop on Facebook or just JD Custom. Okay. Uh, that's the platforms that we are the most involved in. You can find those in the link in the description below, all those links. That's it, yeah. Um, you'll yeah. see there's a day for everything. So every Thursday you'll see a beautiful guitar post. Nice. Uh, usually on a Wednesday is a jam jar day. And, uh, well, take a look. Take a look. And yeah, it's a, cool, it's a cool page. Lots of different stuff going on and interesting things, not just, that's not just boring repair stuff. Tell me quickly about the, the great guys that you've got working there. So you've got Nolan. Yes, yeah. So Nolan well, is, is marketing and yeah. he also does uh, luthery, so, so setups and things like that. 
So Nolan is, uh, he's in charge of all the logistics of JD Customs. So he's okay. like a master organizer, you know, nothing gets past him. I've seen, I've <laughs> so, he, he bombards me with emails. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. We've got Nolan. We've got uh, Nolan, a.k.a. Cosby, because we all have a nickname. Okay, yeah, let's that's go it. through those. So, yeah. so Nolan is Cosby. We've got Christo, who's Megachip. So he's like a big version of a microchip. <laughs> he's the genius of our electronic section. And he's rather tall. Yes, he's, he's almost as tall yeah. as you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so Christo is the most meticulous and intelligent person that I've ever met. Uh, what an honor to work with Christo on a daily basis. He heads the entire um, electronic side of JD Customs. So yep. that's amplifiers, mixing yeah. desks, anything that has to do with audio electronic equipment. And then um, on his right side, we've got Forrest. Forrest is uh, Joshua. Joshua is his apprentice. And he's also like a little mastermind, you know, like uh, he, he knows everything that's going on with everything. Yeah. So, so it's uh, also great to work with Joshua. With Joshua, we also have Big Mac. So Big Mac is our new apprentice in electronic section. And uh, he is, uh, yeah, he's such a strong-willed person, you know. Yeah. Um, okay. That's it, yeah. So the, the general manager of JD Custom is Edwin Carr, um, a.k.a. Twig. So now Edwin is Twiggles, also... Twiggles, Twiglets, Twiglet yeah, 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 that's it. <laughs> so um, you'll recognize him. He's the guy with the dreadlocks. So now if there is one person that is good with, with customers... <laughs> He is uh, the, the customer relations fundi, and he is by far the best technician that I've ever worked with. So I must say, uh, credit to Edwin Carr. And uh, we've got Lorax, the Lorax, which is... Um, Real he, name? He, 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 Liam. <laughs> Liam. So, so Liam, <laughs> Liam is also like uh, such a technically minded person, and uh, he's about to complete his apprenticeship in Luthery. So, so okay. I must say, that's, and then there's myself. And, yeah, uh, but you don't count. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, that's that's the team. The team has cool. grown from from cool. me working alone to now working with incredible people. And I would have liked know, to have the close. whole team here, but yeah. limited space. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it, it, we, we've grown even closer now building this workshop together. So, so I must say, it's it's nice. We cool. all have that, well, well, that same well done to you. that same uh, respect towards our tools, you know. Awesome. Well, well done. Thank you, thank you for Thank you for your for time. The chat. Yeah, thanks for inviting me on, yeah, on, cool. on, Pleasure. on your chat. Pleasure. And it's always an honor to, to speak to you and thank you. And to be thank part you. of this this amazing world that martial thank music you. has has made, eh? Yeah. Cool. So Saturday, six this this coming Saturday, sixteenth of February, from what time? From half past two till half about two. half past five. So, so it officially will think. start at half past Open two. Open to the public. Be there. Be there. It's gonna be awesome. And you can chat to the guys and drink champagne and buy guitars even if you want to. Yeah, why not? <laughs> that that's, uh, that never never ends. Never. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. That's all for now. Thank you cool. for joining us. Cheers.